everyone. On another episode of today on Beach House Garage, we're going to be doing the oil pump, oil pan, pickup, and the valve cover today. Um, so to be prepared, make sure you clean all your hardware, which is what we did. All our hardware for the oil pan and the oil pickup uh, or the oil pump has all been cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, if you don't have them, make sure you order your hardware. We got a new oil pan and an oil pan gasket. We got a new oil pump and pickup tube and a new oil pump shaft as well. This is all pretty much replacement stuff that we are doing for the rebuild of Luis, uh, Luis's V6 or VR6. So let's get to work because this has been Charles Garage. <laughs> The hardware needed are the two that go here, the two that go here, and the two that actually go on the pump itself. Um, so first we need to install our shaft, our pump shaft, which is this guy right here. Uh, you'll notice that it's very distinct, so it has like, you know, uh, kind of an Allen style ends to it and two little bushings on the end. Okay, so since this is a dry motor, we probably want to dump some assembly lube just to be safe this is going to get oil no matter what but again we don't want to have any type of dry runs so any lubrication is definitely beneficial to our uh, assembly process here same thing here just put a gob of assembly lube in there remember it's not going to hurt anything so this all soaks in oil eventually uh, brand new oil pump right here there is a gasket that goes here guys so remember that it's a little paper gasket that goes there okay the two bolts that go here are the much much beefier allen bolts right here and there's two right here again everything goes hand tightened first before you install anything. This is like a six. Yeah. Okay. Now you have your pickup tube. Now your brand new pickup tube should have an O-ring and a flat side. The flat side is actually what goes to the pump. The one with the O-ring in place goes to the block itself, just like this. Make sure you have your gasket ready. Okay. Make sure you line up your other two holes. Do not put everything to spec yet until everything is lined up. Uh, you can prevent a lot of weird issues if you don't line any. You can prevent issues if you put everything on loose first before you put everything on snug afterwards. If 
you ever take out your bottom end and you need to do some service, it's probably a smart choice to replace the oil pump. Uh, the VR6s are notoriously known for bad oil pumps um, because they don't have like a traditional oil squirting system like on a like on our 1.8Ts. So I recommend definitely doing your maintenance on it. Um, if you have it, if again, if you have the change, just buy it. You save yourself a lot of headache down the road. Now I'm not torquing these down. I'm just getting them to the bottom so they can get nice and tight. So we're going to give you guys the torque specs right now in just a moment. But again, we'll do a quick breakdown. You need these two bolts, these two right here for the oil pump, and then these two to actually mount the oil pump in place. Okay. And the orientation of this pipe is very, very, um, pretty much required <laughs> if you want this to mount correctly. All right. So I'm going to give you guys the torque specs in just a moment. So these two, the big ones are 18 foot pounds. All the small ones are seven foot pounds, guys. All right. So 18 and seven. I'm going to do these two really quick because there's a simple little Allen bolt here. Okay, and then the last but not least, that's the other Allen bolt, 18 foot pounds, which is a much bigger one. Alright, so now that we got the oil pump all situated with the brand new shaft, new pump, new uh, return line, we're good here. So next step now is the oil pan itself. Um, we opted out for the uh, steel oil pan, so there's an aluminum one and a steel one that you can get. Um, this one actually has a gasket, so what we got to do is pay attention. Ooh, this is not going to work. It's too shallow. Ha ha ha. He needs a different pan. Yep, too shallow. Oh, that sucks. See? That's not gonna fly. It looks like it's hitting on side inside here on this little baffle part. So I gotta hit him up with that. Unfortunately, we can't do the pan. That sucks. Uh, so we'll do the valve cover since this is pretty much done. Well, I'll give you guys a really, uh, brief, brief explanation of how the pan installs. If you guys ever done a pen install, it's super, super simple. Um, this one actually has a gasket. So here's your gasket here. You lay it down. Now on most cars, anything with a harsh corner like here, 
uh, kind of around here. Uh, I would probably recommend just a tad bit of RTV here, 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 and here. Um, these are the spots where the, the timing covers uh, sit. Uh, the reason for this is because they have a lip. They don't sit perfectly flush. And that lip pretty much will cause a leak. So you want to slap some RTV there to make that lip flat. So when you put your gasket on, the gasket will seal with that and prevent any leaks. So you do this, put your pan on. Um, we're going to pretend we put the pan on. Um, I'm actually going to leave it on until we get the replacement one. So we go down. I'm going to put a couple bolts on here. I mean, it sits flush. I'll talk to him about it. But we're not going to do a, pro a full install on the pan just because it, I'm still not comfortable with it. Even though it, it does sit, it's really shallow. Uh, 20. So all the uh, oil pan bolts are 9 foot pounds. So I'm only going to put 4 of them on temporarily. But when you do your oil pan... Do not, I repeat, do not do them in a circle. Um, do them opposites from each other. Um, especially if you're going to slap some RTV on it. You want to see, you want the, um, the gasket to sit flush. And what happens if you walk it, what happens is it will pinch. And it will cause the gasket not to seal 100%. Um, some people believe that you don't need to. Personally, just, I mean, it's just a good is... practice, honestly. Um, to do that. All right, so I wish I can, uh, do more on this portion uh, of the lower pan, but we can't uh, because, again, you guys saw that the pan might be the wrong size. I know this is a shallow pan versus the, the deeper one, uh, the OEM pan, but uh, I'm going to talk to Luis about this and figure out what he, what route he wants to go with. I do have the original pan for this car, which is actually in good condition, doesn't leak, but it's his it's his choice, so we'll see what he wants from there. So we're going to flip the engine over and show you what to do next. Okay, so now the valve cover. Your timing cover should have these two studs sticking out of it. Please make sure these aren't bent or out of whack. These are very, very important. There's two nuts that sit on top of that. Do not lose those. Um, now for this one, same procedure as the oil pan. These are There's some lips right here. You're going to have to RTV. Uh, the really sharp corners uh, right here where this little seal sits, you want to just do a light, light coat of RTV down here and on top, just lightly. Um, I would probably slap a little bit on this hard corner, same with here. Uh, the oil um, art, uh, valve cover uh, gasket sits right here in this corner too, so this is a really sharp like corner here. So on both sides, we're going to need to put a little bit of RTV here and here. So when you put the cover on, it sits nice and snug and a proper seal. So there's no, this is the valve cover. There's no sealing on this right now uh, or no gasket. So just like that. Okay, so the two tens are here. Everything else is a ten. Uh, the torque specifications will get you guys in just a moment, but you'll see what I mean. That there's a really hard turn here and here. Same with this spot here. So all of those, the corners, you're gonna have to RTV and the really sharp, like 90 degree turns. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's see here. 
bring you guys over here to the table. There we go. So we got a brand new gasket, uh, valve cover gasket, again by Victor Rains. Um, if you can ever get this brand of uh, gaskets, these are the ones you want. This is the best stuff out there. Um, so, this goes like this. Like this. <laughs> now, the VR6 uh, valve cover gasket is a unique gasket because it's actually a press in gasket. You have to push through the gasket through with the hardware. It's really annoying. Um, and I'm not a fan of it. And these gaskets get really hard over time. So if you don't um, service your valve cover very often, or you do take it on and off, on and off, uh, this rubber that sits in here, that obviously is your gasket, gets very, very hard, almost like a rock. And makes the job a lot harder to do to remove and service. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing down through the bottom of the hardware pushing right through so the gasket goes all the way through like that now on the ends right here where the little bolts are sticking out through the timing cover you have these covers right these little little pieces here and these also go through just same way You have two of them. Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to RTV the weak spots on the valve cover or on the head before we put the valve cover on. Same sealant we've been using to do everything else. Put a dab of it here. And you want to kind of like fill in the crack. All right, so the valve cover, the bolts are all at seven foot pounds. Again, Working your way from the top and I mean from the middle working your way back out. Come on. There we go. So, that's it. That's how we do pretty much oil pan, oil pump, pickup, and valve cover with the new gasket. So, once this is all said and done on this portion of the DIY, 
pretty much we're done with the engine in itself as a complete engine this is done if you guys were ever wanted to build long blocks and sell them or give them away or you know if you're gonna build yourself like this is called a long block this is everything that you would get if you ordered a long block with a valve cover and an oil pan sometimes they don't come with either or you probably just get the the bottom and the head but this is a complete long block with pan bottom head valve cover the whole head has been completely rebuilt the bottom of the block has been completely rebuilt everything's ready to go so next time you see this engine or the next diy we're going to be doing is all the accessories and what goes around the engine to make it a complete engine after that because then that's a different thing there's actually called what they call a complete engine which is completely assembled ready to go plug and play and we're going to show you guys how to do that next uh, on our channel so to do the final dress up portion here we got a little little goodie for this engine and let me find it really quick um there it is This will spruce it up nicely. Out with the old and in with the new. Clean up this whole top portion nicely. That goes really far. See, this is the intake side. There we go. You got an Audi R8 uh, oil cap. <laughs> Looks good. I can't really argue it. Uh, orientation's off, but I mean that's that is what it is for this one. It's a little taller too. But I still like it. I like the way it looks. Um, so thanks for tuning in this episode of Beach House Garage with our Patreon built VR6. Next time you see this, we're going to get ready to finish it off around it. Once all the accessories are done around the engine, we're going to slap this bad boy back in its home and do a break-in procedure. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and, uh, and the uh, notification bell down below. Peace out, everyone.